This is Norman with Dr. Spaldi. <clears throat> We're back. A briefie. I have a conceptual question for you. I'm a radio broadcaster, bare bones broadcasting. I ever want to ask my audience, the living surface of this globe is my audience. I'm more than international. Is there enough left among the surface of this globe that to move the mindset to contribution and generosity would spark something to work with, to invest, to build a surplus with in LR inventions of living, no matter what we have to do, to actually pay a fee and the fee on these fiscal systems that the misunderstanding in use right now has got the humans are about to starve to death because they're in failure. Is there enough left here to fix it? You're predicting the end because of physical fails and then you're going to fail and our moods failed and our motives have failed and oh, we're just at the end of our line. Is that true? What when humans change their mindset back up, remember more, take a look here. Is there enough here in generosity? In method? Is there enough method here to accomplish generosity and something to invest? Because now the, inv the method, has, there's, it's sterile, it's headed dormant. There's no topsoil. There's no floodplain. Is there enough to invest so humans have to dig inside here and, and build wonderful spherical cities and live collectively for a long time, possibly even hibernate, maybe 100,000 generations? And ride this through. Is there enough for that? Is there enough wit for it? To observe the assets and obvious and the aspects of living here and incorporate it and, and ride this thing out like a child in a skateboard and then take it through the whole cosmos like a child in a skateboard and have a wonderful, wonderful mooded experience more than you could have any conception of now. Ezra, my question. Please ponder this. Because when I speak with you, I'm dumb enough to think there is. <laughs> well, 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 I speak to my maker and I'm encouraged there. The Lord said, you're looking at the tip of the iceberg, boy. <laughs> you ain't over. What you talking about? I said, I'm a weasel, a sinner. Ah, I didn't tell you that. When did I tell you that? When? Of my pain. I didn't know what pain is about, and I told you that because I knew you'd come bellyache to me. Boy, that's your leash. That ain't me telling you it's over. Punk. <laughs> and laughs at me. Nothing old a gun in my head, hugging me, calling me punk. Not saying make my day by killing the woman so they could kill me. Saying make my day by Opening up and get out of your closet and reason with me. Make my day. Live. Punk. Is there enough? Question. Just a question. For you and me to ponder. For the children and this planet's welfare. 